What's up guys? It's January 2020, which means we are smack in the middle of winter here in Canada. It certainly is snowing right now and it's snowing hard. So I figured this was a pretty good time for me to test out this little guy that I got from Amazon. It is a $10 rain cover for my Sony a7 III. All right, so here's our rain cover. That's the front or the top. And this is the bottom. So if you're putting the camera on a tripod, for an example, uh, this zipper here is really cool because you can put the camera in and close it up, but leave the plate part or the bottom part of the camera open so you can mount this part on, on a tripod, right? Uh, but for today, I'm gonna be walking around handheld actually, so uh, we're not gonna leave this part open. So this clear plastic here is where you look through into your LCD and controls. All right, so I have a Sony a7 III over here. This is what I'm gonna be shooting with today with a 24 to 105 uh, G lens. It's a zoom lens, so it extends. I usually carry around this strap when I'm hand holding the camera, but for uh, because I'm putting it in the bag today, I'm gonna remove this strap. So let's take that off. Gonna unzip the bottom. Just like that, put the camera in. So the lens is gonna be protruding a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be a little difficult if you wanna zoom in and out because the idea is to get a pretty good seal around the lens like this so nothing gets in. Uh, but in order for, it, for the lens to extend, you need to keep it a little loose or loosen it on uh, in you know and have and get it a little exposed to the elements so that it can uh, extend like that. So we'll see how that works when uh, we're testing this out. So for now, I'm just going to leave it unextended. I'm going to put the lens in just like that, and then you want to get it nice and tight. So seal it just like that with this uh, little strap, and for extra sealing. The bag comes with this uh, Velcro strap that is pretty stretchy. And that goes around the lens over here. So this is the lens mount more or less. Uh, so that's my lens, that's my camera body. So I'm gonna tie it around the lens mount. Just like that. There you go, it's nice and tight. So that's Pretty good sealing. I mean, it's not it's not like a rubber gasket or anything like that over there, but it's pretty decent sealing. Uh, and I think it's gonna be pretty hard for water or snow to get through, but it is possible, just by looking at it, I think it's possible if you're shooting up towards uh, rain uh, or snow, for an instance, water might get in there. So just be careful with that. And on the side, so I'm gonna actually zip up the bottom, just like that. And then here are where your hands go in. So that's my right hand goes in just like that. And my left hand. I'm going to turn the camera on so we can see the LCD at the back over here. There we go. So this clear plastic here allows you to see the LCD. You can use, you can control the touch screen if you want. So just like that, that's my focus, which is the only element that works with the touch screen on the Sony. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay. So. You have access to all your buttons, your dials, so on and so forth, including the screen, which is great. But this part is a little exposed on both sides and you can't really tighten it that much. You can tighten it enough to fit your hand through and your hand sort of helps seal it a little bit. But once again, it's, it's a little exposed and you can get water in there. So be aware of that. All right, so this is how you would shoot two-handed. That way you can use your hand to control everything and shoot that way. It is comfortable, uh, it works really well, and I like the fact that you can actually access all the buttons. Maybe when I'm shooting, I would use two hands, but when I'm walking from one location to another, chances are I'm gonna be holding the camera with my right hand because I'm right-handed, and just folding this part like that and grabbing the camera like this when I'm walking. Um, you know, sometimes when I'm shooting this, might, I might shoot it like this as well. So this side of it, just make sure to protect it if you're not using it instead of being exposed like that. 
All right, I can see the LCD nice and clear. Um, obviously, this is a controlled environment. It's in the studio, and you um, there's no rain drops or snow falling onto the plastic. But when we're out in the element testing it, we will uh, see what that looks like. So the weather bag fits the camera quite well. Uh, this strap here is nice and snug, and the zipper here completely seals the bottom part over here, which is nice. And I can grip the camera really well. I can hold the camera really well and feels good in my hand. So let's take this out for a test drive. It's snowing right now, so it's the perfect weather to test this bag out. I'm gonna pull over here when it's safe and uh, get out and check out this camera bag. Let's do it. Pretty cool uh, church building just down the street over here. I want to see if I can get a cool little b-roll with the snow falling and uh, hopefully this holds up. I, uh, it's doing a pretty good job so far. Obviously the front of the lens here is exposed so the lens is getting wet or the front part of the glass is getting wet but other than that my camera seems to be pretty dry so far oh completely dry <laughs> so far so yeah so uh, let's get into the car I'm gonna unzip the pack and uh, see how well it held up and if, the com if there's any leakage or if the camera is completely dry uh, do note that see this part is open because this is where your hand goes in but I've been sort of wrapping it like this because I've been only uh, hand holding the camera with my right hand. So my right hand here is being used um, uh, or the right hand sleeve is being used but not the left one. So you can't completely seal this off but I folded it down so uh, it seems to be working pretty fine so far. All right. So yeah I just noticed that the back plastic is fogging up a little bit. That's probably because the the ends here are not completely sealed. Uh, that's why your hands go in. But yeah, I'm not sure how to prevent that or even if you can, but uh, yeah. All right, back in the car now. Um, and let's see how this guy did. So I'm gonna start my car to warm up a little bit. So excuse the, uh, the sound of the heater, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty cold. All right, so here we are, as you can see, um, yeah, the lens here obviously is exposed, so the lens itself, the front element or the front glass of the lens itself is wet. Uh, okay, so I'm going to probably unzip it from the bottom over here. There we go. So the bag, the outside obviously is wet, the inside is completely dry from what I can see. Now let's check out the camera. Yep, so the camera is thankfully completely dry as well. This little um, smudge of water over here is for my hand actually when I took it out. So I'm just gonna wipe that down. Um, there you go. So besides the front element of the lens, the rest of the camera, as you can see, it's completely dry besides this you see the grip over here that's once again my hand so good point to note dry your hands before taking the camera out of the out of the bag but uh i mean typically i probably wouldn't even take the camera out of the bag till i get home or back to the studio but i just wanted to uh, do an immediate check here so the lens here is fogging up as you can see which is uh, what would happen when you go from extreme cold to uh, somewhere that is uh, a warmer temperature like in the car right now but yeah, I mean, overall, especially for, you know, a, ten, a $12 or $10 piece of rain cover, uh, I think it did really well. I did feel 
safe with it because I kept checking it to make sure that no water or no snow was getting into the camera bag and none did. Okay, let's open this up just to make sure nothing got underneath the LCD here. Completely dry, everything's good to go. And of course, uh, battery compartment. Very important to check, completely dry. Good news. Gonna turn the camera back on right now just to make sure it's working. And it is. Everything's great and the camera's completely dry. So yeah, so now obviously before using it again, you wanna make sure that the insides are completely dry. Now that I've unzipped it to remove the camera, some water could have gotten in. Uh, so you wanna make sure that it isn't, the moisture doesn't build up in there. So yeah, it's a handy little protective case that I highly recommend carrying with you um, everywhere. It, it folds up nice and small, kind of like this. You can just kind of do that. And there you go, just shove it in your camera bag and you always have it with you in case it rains or it snows and you need to shoot. Because as we know, the Sony A-series cameras are not the best uh, in terms of weather sealing as I learned <laughs> before this is my second a7 III body because my first one got water damage so definitely definitely recommend um, grabbing yourself something like this this one i got from amazon.ca for 12.99 there are many options for weather covers like these uh inexpensive ones that even like five dollars seven dollar uh, ones that look like plastic bags those ones uh, i've used those ones before and it didn't feel as durable um, and they tear much easily so I was just kind of worried that I'd be in a situation like this and accidentally tore a hole into it and I would be completely screwed my hair looks uh, really really weird anyways but for only a few dollars more you get something like this where the material is much tougher and you're not going to be able to accidentally tear through this and that makes me feel a lot safer so there you have it, an inexpensive little weather cover that's going to protect your uh, mirrorless cameras, DSLRs from the elements. I uh, definitely recommend grabbing one of these and having it in your bag when, uh, when you're out and about. Alright, I'm going to drive home in this snowstorm now. Um, yeah, check this out. It's just nuts. So let me know in the comments if you guys have tried these types of rain covers and uh, what was your experience like. Are there other ones that you guys recommend over this one? Let me know. Alright, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.